someone's to blame for where the Spurs are, right? Never mind that every team goes through a rebuilding process. And never mind that the Spurs' transition from Kawhi to now really hasn't been that bad or that long. Got to have a target whenever things aren't going well. Kawhi, easy starting point, right? How about R.C. Buford? He pulled the trigger on that trade. Brian Wright, his tenure as GM coincides with the Spurs slipping out of the playoffs. And Pop, the game has passed him by. I got one. How about Tim Duncan? Because when Tim changed everything around here, he changed, well, everything. Before Duncan, the Spurs could only envision what a championship blueprint looked like. Even with the cornerstone like David Robinson, there were a couple of years there in the 90s when they knew they weren't a true title contender. And so with Tim, the lottery prize in 97, let's just say the Spurs were judicious in handling David's injuries that season. Sure enough, the Tim Duncan era crystallized the reality for the franchise. Sustained excellence is most possible when anchored by generational skill. There's a reason just about every run of NBA titles over the last four plus decades has been headlined by Curry, Durant, LeBron, Duncan, Kobe, Shaq, Jordan, Magic, Bird. Of course, getting that type of guy is far from easy and there's work to be done beyond. But striking gold on Tony Parker and Manu Ginobili without Duncan would have meant winning 45 games, getting a playoff series or two every year or so. The Spurs understand that better than anyone. And they understand the realities in luring big name free agents. So what do you know? A fluid seven foot, seven foot three in this case, once in a generation prospect sits at the top of next year's draft. Think it's dumb for the Spurs to put eggs in that basket? Blame Tim Duncan.